So right now it's Sunday morning and it's very early. I'm on the coast and there's that mist all coming down. I was going to film outside. <laughs> oh, there's somebody running out there. I was going to film outside, but Hey, I don't want to get misted. You know, I don't want to get the kiss from the mist because that kiss has a whole lot of salt on it. Hey, I found these. Do you remember these? Buckeyes. This is the two I have left. I put some clear polish over them to keep these. I like these the best. They feel, um, they're very light. They feel like everything's been dried up in the, in the, um, in the middle of it. But this is my Buckeyes. Yeah. Okay, so I found these. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I've got a package. I've got um, some things from Amazon. So I'll um, open these up for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jazz mitten. <laughs> yeah. Jazz mitten. It's like badminton, only jazzier, maybe. My trusty scissors. Keep my scissors right there. You know, if you're new to my channel, and some of you are, I'm a full time nomad. Let me just quickly explain, most of you know. I'm a full-time nomad and I have been for five years, almost five years. And um, I live in my minivan and I've got, this is my living space. I've got it kind of decorated up just for my liking. And uh, and I love it. Well, you can tell by the look on my face, I love my minivan life. And I travel around right now. It's summer, it's been so hot inland going in, in the country that I decided I'm going to California. I'm going to do a California tour and go up and down the coast. And it has been wonderful. It's just this morning. It's still got, it, uh, it's so foggy out there. It's just leaving. It's coming down. It's leaving this, this mist all over. So I don't want to be out there yet, but I guarantee by this afternoon, it's going to be sunny and it's going to be gorgeous. After today, I am going to um, go inland just a little bit. I've got a couple of plans going on. Yeah. Now, uh, Robert and Michael are here with me, but in a couple of days, they're going to go in another direction, and I'm just going to go, and then we'll meet again. But I wanted to get, okay, so I wanted to get a game so I can play with my friends. I've been watching on the beach. Uh, they have games galore, and this is only one that I've seen. And it looks cool. So let me open this. Let's see. It's just completely sealed. They sealed it up. They probably um, melted it shut. There we go. Throw this away. Whoop, whoop, I made it. There we go. Okay, here we go. Love the colors. Loving it. Whoop. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, they're lightweight too. And you just, boom. you know, I used to, I had a badminton set and I used to put it up and play with my grandkids. Um, and then I would let them play. It gave them some, something to do. I do like it. Okay. And this is, um, this, this is a gripper thing for my hand. Okay, let's see what else is in here, folks. Oh, there we go. We got a curing bay. Okay, which one do you want, the orange or the green? Okay, we got things to toss around. These are probably a dime a dozen. You can probably find some of these. Um, A yellow ball. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
I like the green. So, or, yeah. It's going to be fun, isn't it? We can play this when we all get together. The Facebook group is going to have a meetup. And I'll mention that um, this winter. I'm going to guess probably um, the first area of February. Because I know what it's like in January. And there are rigs galore everywhere. And even if you park, because a lot of us on Facebook group were in minivans, a lot of... Um, Bigger rigs come kind of move in on you. They just kind of whoop, you know. And so before you know it, you're surrounded by these uh, big rigs. And a lot of them run generators. So I figured it would be better to have the meetup a little bit after that. So this is a game we can play. So everybody bring your games. There we go. Birdies. I think these are, oh, these are lightweight. This is a soft birdie. This is the hard birdie. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Birdies. I love my birds. I think this I'll keep in here to keep the feathers nice. So it's a game, folks. It's a game. And you get to uh, watch me open it. Go there. Down. There we go. And this is my bag. It goes in. Let me turn this over. There we go. Boop. Okay. Jazz mitten. <laughs> Funny. Let me just do a little knot on here. Okay. That's okay. another thing. What else? Yeah, <laughs> look at more straws. These are straws, but they're silicone. Let me open them. I got the glass ones, and the glass one only fits one certain type of um, drink uh, that I have that I can put it inside. Now you meant, and these were not expensive at all. They were only like maybe maybe like five dollars, six dollars for. One, two, three, five, six, eight of these. And there's two brushes in here. So let's open these. These are silicone and these can go in hot liquids. Now, why do I want these, you ask? You ask that? Well, I'm trying to keep my teeth from getting so uh, dark from the coffee. I've noticed that over the past couple months, um, that my teeth are like getting a little bit more stained up and I'm not happy. I'm not a happy camper with that. So we got a pink one. So if you drink this out of a straw, see this will actually fit in there. There we go. This will fit in here. This is more my, um, my emergency. So what I'll do is cut it to fit these, cut a couple of them. And when you drink out of this, it sort of puts the liquid back in your throat and keeps it away from your teeth. A lot of people use these straws when they drink coffee, if they're concerned. And I wouldn't normally be all that concerned about it. I mean, but um, I do have a YouTube channel and I don't want to have such, you know, um, brown teeth. And I certainly don't want to get them cleaned every, you know, more than once every six months. So I'm thinking right about here. Let me just try this one because I've got other ones I can. There we go. Okay. Put it in here. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, see. Yeah. Maybe even a little bit more. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'll just sit this here. There we go. 
Okay, so we got um, orange, light blue, dark blue, sort of a limey. It's a limey mite. Red, oh, oh, purple. This looks kind of pink when I'm looking in here, but this is actually really purple. And then yellow, yeah. There we go. Find a place for these. And I already got one brush with my glass, but I've got two now. These are so handy. Oh my gosh. My last video, I talked about health. And I did, I checked out my water bottle and I thought, well, we're talking about health. We're talking about cleaning um, our utensils and um, our drinking and food products. Well, this came in handy because what I did was I cleaned, I took this off. I cleaned, I cleaned out this straw. I cleaned out all in here. Yeah, it needed it. I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> it needed it bad. Yeah. So yeah, I cleaned out in here and cleaned everything out, sterilized it. So this comes in handy. Now I have three. I'm actually really happy. I'm happy to have three of them. So what am I going to do with those glass straws? I have a feeling that they will come in handy. I do. And I'll just keep them. They're lightweight. I'll keep them to a certain point. And if I feel like maybe somebody else could use them or find, if I find another drinking um, thing that it'll fit into, yeah, I'll use them. There we go. Let me see this up. There we go. Little ASMR, huh? Yeah. For all of you who know what that is. Yeah, I watch it. Um, I wonder who your favorite is. Mine is Gentle Whispering. Yeah. My Maria, I call her my Maria. Sometimes if I'm going to take a nap, I'll tell my friends, eh, my, my, my family. I'm going to go watch Maria and I'm going to go take a nap. Okay, now, oh, I'm going to show this next. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Let me open. Let me open this. A little more ASMR, huh? What's in here? Okay. Do you remember Paddle Ball? I thought I'd get one of these two. They're, it came in a two pack. I know. Can you see it? it uh, paddle ball. Do you remember paddle ball? A little bit more ASMR. Yeah. If you don't know what ASMR is, go Google it. It's scientific. There we go. In fact, um, Psychology Today a few years ago, put out a, the whole thing it said on the front was, um, is ASMR real? It is. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, you can carry it like a backpack. Okay. Isn't that funny? Hi. <laughs> hey, anybody. Anybody want to play uh, paddle ball with me? Happen to have one right here on my back. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, I don't want to hurt you. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Watch me whack my, uh... now these are things that are, these are things that are just fun. If you're just sitting here <laughs> and she's got a little thing, I can hook it up and it's like, oh, wait a minute. I'm bored. I want me some, I want to have me some paddle ball. Okay. It's going to take some practice. <laughs> okay. One more try and I'll give up. Okay. 
You have to get used to this. Okay. I think I need to go outside and do it. Okay. One for me and one for you. There you go. Let's do it together. Okay, paddle bomb. It wasn't, so I think these were like eleven dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, another cup. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. What do we got in here? Um. Yeah. It's an MC4 connector on one side. It's an adapter cord for solar. And the other one is a 5.5 millimeter DC plug for this baby. And I'll tell you why. I was going to do a review of it last week. And I received this. But lo and behold, they didn't send any um, plugs for the solar. And the reason why I realized was that they want you, um, and so does Jackery, they want you to buy their solar panel. Well, they even went step, one step further. Not only um, do they want you to buy their solar panel, but in order to not have to buy something like this, you have to buy their solar panel because the cord is permanently attached to their solar panel. Which, unlike Jackery, um, they at least gave you a, a cord. It was an 8mm, but at least they gave you a cord. And then the, it wasn't an MC4, it was a SE something. It was a, an odder, it was an odd um, connector for solar. So there's different connectors for solar. But they went as far as to do that. This company, it's called... Okmo, O-K-M-O, Okmo, and I don't know what is their Okmo. Let's look up and see. $269, and right now there's $40 off. And I'm going to guess, I don't, it doesn't really say just right off. How much wattage there is. <clears throat> oh, and there's no reviews on it. I think this is a newer company, is it? Well, there's no reviews on it. Oh, on Amazon, anyways. It folds up nice. It folds up like my other one, yeah. It folds up nice. But when you look on this, and I'll leave the link for this, it's totally connected permanently. You can't take it off. That's why they didn't send me a cord, which I couldn't review it right away because uh, they didn't send me anything. I don't use AC to power it up. And I don't use my cigarette lighter. Now, you could, but you also want the option to use solar. I use solar. My solar's up here. That's what I use. I use solar. So, let's open this up. And I haven't tested to see if this is going to fit. So, we're going to try it out together. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> it's heavy. This is about 15 pounds. Close to. I'm guessing, but it feels like about 15. Okay. Okay. AC to power up. And the, um, for your cigarette lighter, 12 volt. And it came with a manual. You have to go online to get them. So this was nice that I found this. 
there's a lot of specks in here that I'm going to, I'm not going to go over all of these right now because I haven't really tried it out. So it's not going to be a good review. I'm just going to unbox this and then I want to make sure that this fits and then I'm going to try out my solar and I can review it a little bit better. Okay, the unveiling of the Okmo. Woo! Yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. So, yeah. This is good exercise. I, I'm into lifting rocks. Well, now I'm into lifting um, solar stations. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this in here. I use this as a table so we can ogle over it. There we go. Okay. We've got three AC. We got the DC in. Now this is called PVN. Right here it's called PVN. I did read in the manual that this is where the solar panel cord plugs in. But they also had this, but you had to buy your own. So if you get this, you're going to have to buy your own adapter. And we'll see if this is the one. If it is, I'll leave the link. Now we have um, different types of USB. This one is a PD 60 watt. It's called power delivery. And it can pump out up to 60 watts of power to, it's gotta be, you have to have compatible devices and I don't know what those are. So 30 watts. And then we just have two regular USBs. This one I'm not so sure about, but in the review, I'll do just a little bit more research on this. This is 12 volt in, 12 volt. And here's your your cigarette lighter. Yeah. And that's it. There's no other. Here's your, where your fan is. You want to keep this open so the fan can work. This was a little disconcerting. It says, please do not place the product in a high temperature. In a sealed environment, get this, such as a car for a long time. Really, I don't know if they're going overboard for trying to keep um, them from uh, their responsibility out of the way. And uh, But I don't remember seeing this on any other, um, on my Jackery or the, uh, or the other ones that I had, those smaller ones. So I don't know if they're going to start doing this for their to, for their own, um, keeping them from being responsible, getting sued. But in a sealed environment, such as a car, and this is under high temperatures. In here, I did read there that um, it, it specifies what the temperatures are. And my vehicle's never gone up that high. But still, in a car, well, us nomads, we're going to keep ours in a car all the time in a vehicle. Yeah. So let's do an unveiling. Let's see if this works. Well, let's see if it fits. Now, if it didn't, there's what I got. I, the reason I got this one is because if it doesn't, there's other adapters here. So let's see. And I did like it's a little bit longer. So, yeah. Well, let's see if it fits. Well, it fits. And this is the MC4. Let's 
turn it on. Here it gauges, it tells, it's, um, it looks like it's about 50%. I watched another review on YouTube and they mentioned that there are no gauges of what's going in and going out. So let me test this out. I know something's stopping the red one. I don't want to mess this completely up and have to redo my whole thing, but we can do this. Now, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, male, female, and the female, male goes into the female. There. As we all know, <laughs> for procreation. Okay, so. Now something is happening. Yeah. Okay, so it's working. You can see that this is moving. It's powering up. So I'll probably put this over here and this other Jackery. Well, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the other Jackery. I got too much stuff in there now. So we got this. Okay. Now I did read on the manual, of course, they say don't do both at once. Just let this power up and don't use it. But I'm going to, uh, let's plug something in. Let's plug my phone in. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. And then what I have to do is turn on the USB. Now see, maybe Okmo, maybe somebody did a review on Okmo when they first came out because he said there was no way to tell what's going on inside here. I'm getting told what's going on inside. The output is one to two watts because that's about right. That's what my Jackery tells me. And it's a USB 5V and beautiful, isn't this beautiful? What do you think? But we know that the cord works. And I'll let you know how everything goes, how much time, and tell you just a little bit more about it. But this is the Okmo. How much is this? This is $899 for the thousand. Now, the Jackery is a thousand. So it's really just a hundred dollars less than the Jackery, somewhat. And, um, well, I'm going to revisit this once I get used to it and we'll see how I like it. Well, listen, you guys, I hope you have a really good day and hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad I'm on the coast. It's so nice here. And you know, if you see my videos, you know that I'm enjoying myself near the beach. So please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And stickers and magnets, if you want to order them, uh, minivanlee.com. And of course, um, if you want the book, and it's a way to support me with the stickers, the magnets and the books. I don't ask for money. I really don't. I just don't. I never allowed um, you to just send me money. I did have a Patreon account and I didn't like that they were taking out um, almost a 25% of what you were giving me. That's, that's, a, that's too much. And um, so I canceled and I'm not, yeah, I canceled my Patreon account. So I don't ask for money and I don't beg for money. But so what I do is I offer something for you.